What is up people, it is time for game number 14 of the rain climb. For today's game, I'm going to be playing Oriana in the mid lane. So, yeah, it's time for some more mid lane games. Um, I'm going to be playing against Kassadin in this game, and this is kind of interesting because in this patch is where Kassadin got nerfed. His ultimate range got shortened by like pretty much half of what it used to be. So now, like, Kassadin's ultimate is almost the same range as the Flash. I think it's slightly bigger, but it's barely bigger. And honestly, I was trying Kassadin out, and holy crap, like, I feel like he's kind of ruined. I feel like the nerf range was, the, the nerfed range was a little bit too much, but, you know, whatever. We'll see what people figure out about Kassadin. I have this weird feeling that he'll end up becoming, like, some top lane full mana tank thing. But, uh, yeah, as for mid lane, it feels like you can't really gap close to people and hit them with your W as easily as you could before. And it just really, like, reduces his DPS. I mean... It makes it easier to gank him now, so that's a positive. I always thought, you know, it was so stupid that you can't gank a Kassadin, but now, like, you can. <laughs> okay, well, anyways. Kassadin into Oriana. I'm pretty sure this is a lane that really favors Oriana earlier. So, uh, I'm gonna try my best to just, like, you know, walk over this guy and just, you know, make sure that he stays down. Um, so, looking at my team, there's a little bit of synergy, you know, I can put my ball on Vi, Vi goes in with her Q or her ultimate, and then I ultimate as well, and then, you know, that's kind of like a one team fight almost, if Vi does it at the right time, of course, and then there's also Blitzcrank, and, because, you know, Oriana and Blitzcrank, they're both robots, mm -hmm. <laughs> he's trolling, he's trolling, anyways, um, yeah, so, I'm starting to notice something, uh, I'm actually seeing a little bit more, um, what would you say, comps in this elo that, that aren't as troll like if you look at every champion in this game everyone is almost a meta pick i mean fiora with teleport is a little bit you know it's not exactly common like usually even if fiora goes top they tend to go ignite so that they can make sure they get the kill with the ultimate but uh you know i mean teleport fiora is nice that means she can like go bot lane and just get a random double kill when people are so low and she can just press her ultimate so yeah i mean what I'm trying to say is, this is, I feel feel like this might be one of the first games where I feel like everyone has picked a champion that is pretty, like, you know, highly regarded by, you know, most of the community. So, yeah. Well, okay, maybe except, like, current patch cast and, and maybe Lulu support. Those are, like, the only questionable choices, but other than that, like, these are pretty good picks. Yeah. Okay. Wow. How long has it been loading, actually? Oh, I see. Lulu's got, like, a toaster. That's okay, we'll get in there soon. It suddenly got sped up. Alright, the toast is finally done. Okay, um, let's see here. I need to leave the base really quickly, put a ward down by the brush. What item should I start against Kassadin? I know some people like to start Flask against Kassadin because almost every Kassadin in the world starts Flask. Because if you, if you start Flask against him, then... Um, he can't really out sustain you in lane, which is usually what he does against most mid laners. But I feel like I probably don't need to worry about that. So I'll always go for a standard start Doran's ring. Alright. Let's just leave the lane. I mean leave the base. And let's go towards this little point here. Put a ward down so they don't like completely invade us. Um let's see here. Oh, jungler's AFK. That's no good. The Vi is gone. Okay, okay, okay. Let's put a war down right here. Alright, secure, secure. Now, because my bot lane apparently doesn't want to care about uh, defending, I'm going to be defending this entrance with my own vision. Myself. <laughs> Alright, I can see Cassid in the middle. What is he doing? Not much. He's being a troll. Uh, yeah, I don't know why the bot lane is just sitting bot like under a turret like this is the most useful useless you can be if you if you're one of those that like go to tower instantly as soon as you get into game like this does nothing like you could be invaded while you do that don't do that like guard an entrance put a war down at least if you're gonna be like afk in the corner like that uh oh god vi is gone i'm gonna ping just in case she's like afk and didn't realize Okay. <laughs> what is going on in chat? German? Shepherd? <laughs> oh my god, he got trolled. But okay. Mm, it looks like we're gonna be f 4 versus 5 early on. Mm, that's not completely, you know, unusual for this elo, but uh, 
As long as Vi doesn't come back and suddenly start feeling like crazy, I think we'll be good. Okay, anyways, let's go. So, lane's gonna start, Chasm's gonna hit me with that. I block it off with my shield, no problem. Hit him with two auto attacks. He's been out traded already. Nice. Okay, let's get the minions. He's gonna walk up to me, probably gonna wanna cue me. Yeah, I shield it off, it's no problem. Keep auto attacking him. Okay, I do not wanna eat auto attacks though. Okay, but he's eating a lot more from the minions. <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay, this is pretty good actually. Although I kind of did lose a little, a little bit more health than I wanted, so that's kind of sad. Whatever. Uh, I can pop one pot. Why not? So I'll attack him. I probably should try and focus to get like level two quicker than him. There we go. Ah, damn it, that sucked. <laughs> oh my god, I'm missing the minions. All right, here we go. Okay. Let's go one more. Oh, oh my god, I don't think I blocked that in time. I don't think I did. It's alright though, he's getting like super low. This guy's like almost dead. I got Ignite too, so like, if this guy gets too close to me, I'll make him pay. Alright, so now I got level 3. I'm gonna put another point to, into Q. As you see, I, I'm not really putting like any points into W because I really don't need W against Cassidy because he doesn't really push hard, so like, I don't need that like, you know, extra AoE. Oh my god, this guy is so low. So low, he's tempting me now. Oh my god, if this was high elo, I would have thought, like, you know, the enemy jungler is trying to bait me. I might just flash ignite him, like, auto attack. That's probably gonna get him killed. Wait. Oh. He got so low there. Okay. At least he's gonna miss, like, this entire minion way, which is pretty big. Look at him. Ah. Okay. He's probably not gonna be. Wow, he's only got 3 CS. He's not going to be able to buy anything useful for himself. Alright, let's get two health pots and let's go back to land like this. Oh shit, did Vi miss her boot? No, okay, she got it. Nice. <laughs> Vi is like, thank you for help. <laughs> what a shaky bastard. Alright, well, how's this balling going? Oh, this doesn't look too pretty. <laughs> Lul is like all the way back. Oh, oh, okay. Nice, Nocturne's taking our Gromp? What? Why is he staring though? Oh god. I'm, I'm, I'm almost there, I'm almost there. Oh, please. Where's our team? Blitzcrank, Blitzcrank. Get the grab. Do it. Get the hook. I know you can do it. Okay, ignite. Oh my god, he took the first blood. Jesus Christ. Oh my god, that could have been so... Wow, in vain gets a 1v1 kill against Caitlyn this early on? Jeez. Okay, mid lane is missing. I'm gonna put a ward here just in case. Got the siege. Thank God. All right. Uh, okay, let me get this minion. Let me get this one. Let me get this one. Oh my God. Oh my God, please. Oh, <laughs> this attack speed is too slow for me. By the way, I will have to apologize in advance. I've actually not played Oriana in quite a while. Uh, I've been trying to like you know test out like all these like mid laners that got changed and I kinda like put Orianna in, in like uh, I don't know I, I used didn't really play Orianna that much I shelved her basically oh okay oh, that's okay I probably shouldn't be using my my W too often I should just be trying to harass him with the uh, with Q oh wow are you really gonna fight me in between my minions you're dead <laughs> <laughs> wow, he did not pay attention to the minion count. He just walked in on me. He was like, oh yeah, I can take this Oriana. She's low health. And yeah, he completely forgot that once you auto-attack a champion, an enemy champion, every minion aggroes onto you. And like, yeah, that just happened. Like, me and the minion's auto-attacks, like, just made sure that he didn't exist for too long. Alright, this is good though. This is good. I like it. I like it. Uh, is this a game worth building... I think it's on Holy Grail. I don't think so, so I'm not gonna be going for that at least. Nice, Fiora gets 1v1 kill versus Nar. That's really good. Okay, let's get the Finish Codex. Let's get a Pink Ward. Let's get a Mana Pot, just in case. I haven't really been having too much mana problems against this guy, but this should be pretty, you know, straightforward. Let's go in there, go ham, auto attack him. I'm level 6 and he's level 4. That's like how far behind he got when I forced him out of lane that first time. 
Um, oh, he didn't start Flask. I just noticed that. He has four pots too. Holy crap. This guy should be the sustain lord right now. He shouldn't be like... He shouldn't get forced out of lane by me if he plays this correctly, but uh, I guess he's not chugging his pots. I don't know how long he's had those pots for though. I haven't really been paying attention. Oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh, wait. Wait for it. Okay, got it. I don't know if that was worth the flash, but <laughs> you know, I just want to make sure that he gets so far behind as possible that you know he's gonna miss too many minions. He's gonna be like not level six for the longest time, and once he's level six, he's not even gonna feel that much of a difference because that's kind of what like current patch cast up in this like it's freaking terrible. I, I tell you, man, like, I hate what he did to Kassadin because, you know, I, I am kind of like a, a Kassadin player. I would play him whenever I know that there's, like, enough magic damage threats in the enemy team. Because that's, that's the only moment I feel like really safe playing him. But, yeah, uh, right now Kassadin is just in a really weak spot thanks to that ultimate nerf. <sighs> mm. Okay, let's get this. Let's get the fear. Uh, what's it called? Forbidden Idol, I think it's called. Let's go towards mid lane. <laughs> I am Smurf 2, Plat 1. Really? I guess it's a support, so you can't really tell, like, by judging at scores and stuff, but he's 1 1 2, so that's okay. Uh, where's middle? Okay, he's here actually. I'm completely blind. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna put down my Q. I'm not gonna hit that in time. So right though, because I have too many minions compared to this Kazadin. How much does this Kazadin have? 16. Damn, that's that's more than half. I mean, I have more than double of what he has got. That's like really big. I'm level 7 in these 5. Oh, he got slowed. He doesn't even have ultimate to jump out. Oh man, he's gonna die again. Oh, are you kidding me? No! <laughs> Are you kidding me? Oh my god, I hate how slow Rihanna's ball is. Okay, I'm gonna force the, the minions to the tower. And, oh wow. This casting is actually pretty aware. Usually when people use recall like that on the turret, they use the AFK. Oh, that amount of health. At least I'm not letting him touch the siege. So this is almost worse than actually getting killed. You know, the nine people minions. Because you don't get experience, you don't get gold. While the enemy laner keeps getting experience, you know? Like sometimes it's not all about, you know, um, getting kills constantly. It's also about, you know, being able to control the lane. Just, you know, completely dominate the the pattern that the enemy mid laner is doing. In this case, you know, like this guy, he's just... He doesn't know what to do against me. He, he doesn't know what to do against me so much that he's buying four mana pots. <laughs> you know, it's like, I don't think mana is an issue for him, but he's buying mana pots for some reason. He should be like buying, uh, you know, a ruby crystal or save up money until he can get it. Because by buying these, like, pots that really aren't going to help him in lane much, he's just going to fall behind even further. Look at this. Auto attacks, auto attacks. Oh, man. Oh, look at this. He's so dead. Wow. Okay. Auto attack. Oh my god. Wait, is he gonna die? Yes. Nice. Alright. Because I'm so over leveled to him, I ignite just does so much damage and his health, because it's still like relatively low thanks to his low level. Um, like my ignite just destroys him. <laughs> Simple as that. Alright. Oh, please. Oh, I'm not gonna get that minion. What is my team doing? I'm not gonna chase this because I'm like low mana, low health. Uh, okay. Oh, that's kill. Nice. Okay. Let's get the Finish Codex. Let's get Boots so I can move faster. And let's go to the mid lane. Okay, okay. Well, I also forgot to say that last game, since I won, I got up to 63 LP, I think. So, like, I'm actually way more positive in LP than I was when uh, I was doing the Twisted Fate game. So, I'm definitely gaining way more LP than I'm than I'm losing. So, you know, it's all good. I'm actually pretty curious how much I will gain now. I don't know if, like, losing in one game actually kind of, like, uh, I don't know, increase my MMR, uh, my LP gain. Whoa, Cassidy, chillax. Boom, boom, and auto attack. Dead. Alright, this casting definitely doesn't know like where, when the danger is, 
Because this guy is actually trying to fight me despite the fact that I am like a bunch of kills ahead on him and I have like so many more like items. Like I have so much more items. He's got a Doran's ring and boots. I got boots, Doran's ring, and another Doran's ring and a fully completed I item, the Moral Nomicon, you know? Like this is not a good time to be messing around with the enemy laner. Like you should only be staying at the back, take whatever minions you can uh, under the turret. If possible, maybe go to another lane and try to make, you know, an unfair advantage. But, uh, yeah, as you can tell by the <laughs> by the score, like, it's pretty one-sided. Like, I think all, every lane is winning. Uh, yeah, uh, Blitzkrieg is the only one that's been dying. Uh, well, okay, Vayne and Blitzkrieg have been dying, like, twice each. But, you know, it's pretty, pretty cool. Oh, wow, I didn't even notice that, I, uh, like, the mid-tower already fell. Jeez. Okay. Oh man. Oh man. Wait, what? <laughs> man, that ultimate feels so short now. I feel so sad watching someone else play Cassidy. <laughs> it really is like a rift limp. It's not a rift rift jump anymore. A rift walk rather. Rift limp? Or Oh, uh, I don't wanna flash for this. Oh god. Hey, hey? I really don't want to flash. <laughs> okay, he wasn't even fast enough for the ball to like to be able to run away from the ball. Sweet, 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 sweet. Okay, let me just do this. The minions. Show them over here. Get this minion. Oh wow! What just happened in bot? The people just. Whoa, Vayne's build. Blader, Rune King, and Cloak of Agility. No boots. Damn, that's pretty ham. Oh god, I have no mana, but thankfully enough, Orianna still does like decent amount of damage by just auto-attacking. So, at least I'm gonna be a little bit useful taking down this dragon with my autos. There we go. So useful that I even get the last hit. I would help Vi here, but like, I literally will do so. Okay, you know what? I want that assist money. Fuck it. Alright, bye. Let's do it. Wait, let me put the shield on you. Oh, forget assist money. Just take the kill. <laughs> alright, alright. I'm feeling it. <laughs> Vi actually got a little bit upset. Alright, time to go back. And let's get, let's get this large rod. And let's go to mid. What's going on here? Why are they... Are people being upset? Uh, are they arguing? Like, I can't really tell from just reading quickly. Mm. I don't know, man. Oh, look at this. Lulu and Cat. <laughs> the support is higher level than the Kassadin. Damn, and I thought the bot lane was losing. Seems like mid lane was just a lot more... It was just way more extreme. Oh, oh man. Missing the minions like a boss. Wait, wait, wait. Oh man. I thought I thought Cassidy might have walked into my ball, then I didn't have to like use Q to like you know use my spells. Where's that? Is that mid? Where's Noctin going? Okay, that was bot, I see. Whoa, my damage? Did you see that on Cassidy? <laughs> Half health from just hitting my QW. Wow, that means I can probably finish him with just hitting my ultimate. Alright. No! Oh! Okay, my auto attack was in there. Nice. Okay, and I even got his flash too. I'm just gonna keep pushing, get the towers, you know, get advantages from my team. I could maybe roam, but uh, yeah, I just wanna make myself as strong as possible. Oh god. Okay, that was just a random hamster coming in like. Oh. Oh, he's dead, I think. Yes, he's dead. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna recall here because I know Kazan's gonna be back and who knows where everyone else is in the enemy team. Uh, let's get... What should I get? Should I get Sonya's Hourglass? Who's fed in their team? Caitlyn's got a few armor items. They got a lot of like AD but they don't really have much... Um, they, they're not gonna be having any armor penetration right now so rushing a Sonya's Hourglass is actually gonna be really powerful. Alright, I'm feeling this build. Uh, next item might be a uh, 
besides rushing, uh, finishing my boots, of course, I could be going for a voice staff or death cap. I think I will go with death cap though, because I don't think nobody will be building like mag resistance against me. It's like it's not really necessary. Oh wow! Hey, let me shield you. Oh wow! Yeah, that auto attack. Holy crap! Oh no! Are you kidding me? My Q didn't move. I must not have been in range. Uh, this guy wants to give me blue, but I want to take the mid towers. Come on. Let's do it. Let's do it. Keep pushing. Keep pushing. Okay. Let's keep pushing. Okay. Vi actually didn't go for blue. That's nice. That means I can actually take it later. Oh, what is this? Nocturne is... Oh, he just took blue, but we should be able to kill him. Oh, wait. I want assist. Or to kill. Uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, look at this. Nar just got out of his old, uh, his passive form, so this means he's not gonna be so tanky for a while. Hit them both! Oh my god, I only got to hit. Oh god, wait. I'm in risk for dying here. Oh! Shield! Oh my god. I probably should have Sonya the Hourglass. Fuck! Okay, that was me being really stupid. I'm not so used to having, like, Sonya's that soon. Alright, let's get this, and let's get... Let's upgrade this, actually. Damn it, dude, I forgot about my Sonyas. How stupid am I? Fuck. Whatever. I'm getting carried away here, you know, he's, like, semi-trolling. Obviously, this Nar is not that bad. But, um... Yeah. He didn't let me play him for a fool, and I got destroyed. <laughs> Man. I always get these random few deaths. I just stop concentrating and get wrecked. When I get like too cocky, that's one thing that people also need to understand that in this game it's actually really dangerous to get super cocky because when you feel like you're invincible, that's probably the moment you're gonna be losing, or or have some kind of loss because uh, yeah, usually when something is too good to be true in this game, it is too good to be true. <laughs> oh, holy shit! How strong are they actually? Naris full armor and health. Lulu's got Finders Codex and Ruby Crystal, so she's kind of tanky. Uh, Caitlyn rushed a seal and then is building towards Infinity Edge and then built a Vampire Acceptor. Like, she's building so many items at the same time. It's like, she's not going to get anything done. Um, what about Cassidy? Cassidy built Boost of Swiftness and Blasting Wand. Poor guy. Bless his soul. Uh... Nocturne is building completely glass cannon. Just pure damage items. That's fine with me. Just makes it easier to kill him. No! Oh yeah, there we go. Oh wait. <laughs> Trolled with the Zonias. Alright. Whoa, what is going on with the chat? They're getting mad at each other and shit. Okay, got got this person. Maybe I should change it after this guy too. Oh uh, man! Oh god! Oh man! If he had balls, he might have been able to destroy me. Okay, the little rift top, dude. That's like nothing. <laughs> okay, and now what? No! Wait, 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 wait. Oh, nice. That was pretty good actually. Nice. And he's dead too. Nice. Alright. Beast mode. Okay, what can I get with this money? Oh, they surrendered. Okay, so I knew there was kind of going to be a, a quick game there because it was just like a stop. You know, this is what happens when I start playing like Shambi's uncomfortable with. Like, I just go ham. Well, whatever. Um, that was it for my Oriana gameplay in mid. Um, of course, if you enjoyed this video, it would be nice to give it a like. And uh, if this is the first time watching one of my videos, you can always subscribe to me because I'm always trying to upload new games daily. So yeah, um, that was it for me. This has been me, Steve Rockstars, and hopefully I'll see you guys next time.